Hi, this is Tanya Lux, the Product Marketing Manager for Particle Shop. And right now I'd like to show you another one of the starter pack brushes. So let's go ahead and launch Particle Shop. And I happen to have some vector text here, so I'll go ahead and rasterize this in order to bring it into Particle Shop. And once we're in here, we're going to work with the debris brush. So instead of doing a photographic type of effect this time of around, we're going to experiment a little bit here with playing with debris and text for graphic effects. So to start off with, I've got my color wheel and I'm going to use all of the brush settings at their defaults with the exception of turning on the pressure sensitivity because I'm using a Wacom Intuos tablet here. Now remember, we had a black background, so I'm just kind of creating a dusty debris mess right here. I'll go ahead and save and we'll see what kind of impact that has on our text. So it kind of makes it look dusty or fuzzy. If we want to undo and bring this back in, we'll just kind of explore a variety of the settings for this particular brush. Now instead of using black this time around, I'm going to go ahead and select a color and I'm also going to add a glow. And we'll do the same thing that we just did but this time we're going to get a beautiful glowy type of effect behind the text here. Now let's experiment with the size of the brush and some of the other controls that we have available on the property bar. So I'm going to reduce the size of my brush and we still have that purple color and the glow on the stroke and you can see here you can get some really neat effects by um, you know depending upon how you're moving your stylus on the tablet in a swirl pattern it's going to pick up some of the white and integrate that with the glowy purple that we have on the page here if i want to reduce the opacity level just a little bit you can see now um, we're getting much more of the purple in our stroke there and a lot less mixing or blending of the white with the um, primary color that we have selected. Now I'm going to bring that back up for just a second here. If we come further down the line, then we have the ability to adjust the weight or the opacity of the particle path. So at 50%, we can see through those a little bit. If I bump that up to, let's say, 100, now the pads are set to 100% opacity. If I bring this a little bit lower, then we'll see, you know, now I have a much lighter, softer sort of effect on my strokes that I'm placing on the page here. And then to finish things off, all the way down on the end, you have your weight jitter. So do you want to vary the opacity of the individual particle paths 100%, which is what we've been working with? Or do you want to um, minimize the variation on the particle path? So, and thus making the impact of your brush strokes a little bit more subtle. Just for fun, let's go ahead and bring up the size of our brush a little bit larger and I'm going to increase the variation on the particle opacity and you can see here let's go ahead and also make this show up a little bit more so on the end here we'll just get totally crazy and now I'm going to go ahead and save and that is experimenting with the property bar adjustments for your debris brush which is included as a standard brush with your Particle Shop plugin purchase.